Hello, and welcome back for another One Wheel Ride. Uh, today, as you can see on the title screen, I'm going to get a haircut. So, this route that I take, um, I take it quite often, so I'm very familiar. So, unlike the first video where it was a new route, this one I'm more comfortable with. I know all the little hazards that might pop up. And what I noticed on this video compared to the last one was that the footage is a little bit better. Probably not by design. It's just the camera was better placed on my helmet this time around. But overall, it's a better framing. So I like the first one, which is kind of a little bit too low in my opinion. This one's a little bit better. It's not too far up ahead and it's not too far low. It's better off. There's still a weird tilt here, but I don't know if I can do much about that now that I think about it. because. I put the GoPro on my helmet and it's just based on how my head's tilted and I've got to tilt my head in a certain way so I can be aware of my surroundings. So this is my, how it be in the future or maybe I can figure out how to still ride safely while keeping my head more level. You know, hopefully that's comfortable. So as I go through here, this is still East San Jose. Uh, it's where I live and actually where I work. Actually on this block right here, it's uh, like a bunch of medical offices, like a medical campus, and it includes a hospital where I work. I'm not gonna mention the name just because working at a hospital, there's all these kind of policies about social media and how you what you say online. Obviously, I don't want to get any kind of trouble there, so I'll just say that this is it. This is like one part of it. This is like the office space that they rent out to independent doctors. Actually, it's probably not going to be that hard to figure out if you really, really want to. But if you figure it out, great. If not, then it doesn't really matter. There's actually the actual emergency room entrance where, actually, that's where I do most of my work. And I'm coming through these intersections. Normally, I'm good about actually hitting the button and waiting. But here, like, I'm constantly, like, this is a little bit too late to hit the crosswalk button. But I know I have the green light, so I just go and... I know what, what the traffic flow is like, so I'm fine. And coming through here, it's still the hospital. It's a pretty big hospital. I mean, it's not gigantic, but it's a pretty good-sized campus. Down this stretch of the street, if you... Going back to my first video where I talk about... Because East San Jose is not a very um, affluent place. There's sometimes, like, trash and litter. Here it can be sometimes... Like in that first video, kind of bad, but here it looks pretty good actually. You know, I just had somebody come through recently and clean it all up, which makes sense if the hospital's gonna want to be, um, you know, look presentable. And that weird angle you just saw, just because I had a duck to hit, so I don't hit some trees. Now that I think about it, maybe having it, even though it's kind of the angle's kind of askew like this, it probably makes sense to present it that way, just because then it feels like what I see when I ride, sort of. I mean, it doesn't plan it out. It doesn't look this tilted on me, but it's kind of the same idea. Made it across. I go here often at the little shopping center just because there's a basket robins and I love ice cream. Um, here you can see it's getting a little bit messier. Uh, it's a little bit more trash, unfortunately. And in this intersection right here, it doesn't look anything spectacular, but it's a little bit sketchy just because of the flow of traffic and how many people want to make this turn to get in or to exit and get a left-hand turn. I always have to be very careful here. One of the few hazards that I have on this route, but I'm used to navigating it. Actually, here comes another one up ahead. Here is the overpass for the freeway, and I got to go over it three times. And in each case, it's a little bit a little bit of a risk just because you know people are getting off the freeway in this case and not everybody slows down like they should so I gotta be extra vigilant and make sure that no one's just coming up tearing through here. This one's probably not 
the scariest ones because of the way the traffic flows in you gotta merge people tend to slow down for that one so they don't get sideswiped but this one is a little bit um, of a different story not only is it more of a risk here you can see here on these overpasses like a lot of people dump trash or the homeless camp out here see here I come to a really slow pace because as I can't trust anyone I mean you see people just whipping through here they're not gonna stop not gonna stop even though they probably should this person doesn't gonna stop and then finally this person stops and I decided because I lost some momentum to just walk it across so I don't pull up traffic you can see the big line of line of cars already just from that one car stopping for me so I gotta sit down and uh, get the on the board again you see all this unfortunately all this trash that's around here it's kind of unpleasant to look at and you see the line of cars just everybody trying to get onto the freeway there the only notable thing here is that there's an extra big gaps in either end of the overpass and when i first was learning to ride i would go too slow and it would really hurt like right there that thicker line right there what i learned eventually was that a little bit of speed it goes over a little bit smoother and here we're at the other pass this one is kind of like the first one people slow down because they know they got to merge and they don't want to get sideswiped but still I don't trust anyone here right there and I mean, the person could have let me go on but I guess they didn't see me or didn't feel like it so I was cautious on that one too Oh, actually, I do, I, do, I do go over here four times, not three times. Yeah, four times. This, is the this one is also, eh, it's, for some reason, it's, it's not as sketchy. That's probably why I forgot about it. What I learned from my first video is that I'm going to try to keep these um, one-wheel videos shorter. Uh, the first one was like 15 minutes, and that's just both from working it and doing it. It seems like longer than necessary. So I might break these up a little bit. But here I'm in at the end of my ride. I come here often, too, for grocery shopping and, you know, get Popeyes or whatever and here I'm ready to get my haircut it's a uh, barber college so it's students but I mean my haircut that I get is pretty simple so I'm fine coming here and that's the end of this ride uh, thanks for joining me again and I'll see you guys on the next ride take care